Someone wrote it and said, I love to read, said, I loved your interview with Chris Ryan. It was really good. And he continued, although it was too short. I definitely need help with the having casual sex and leaving a girl feeling great about our relationship. Can you give us some advice? This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. Kathy Vartuli from intimacydojo.com. And we have a new microphone that we're recording with today, which oh, is you can see it. Ah. what you can see. I'm going to try not to yell. Yeah, it, we've had a couple of comments. Yeah. About my yelling. I apologize. He gets Just, excited. I do. And sometimes I pinch him. Uh, uh, I'll yell like this. Uh. All right, questions. Chris for Ryan. Uh, thanks, Chris, for uh, letting me onto your podcast. It's always a pleasure. Uh, you can check out Christopher Ryan, um, and it's Tangentially Speaking uh, is the name of his podcast. Uh, so casual sex. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about casual sex. What's what's the question again? They, they want to know how you, <laughs> how you can have casual sex and leave a girl feeling great about it, the, the connection. Oh, just be a nice person. And be upfront about it at first, like yeah. from the beginning. Say thank you. Say please. Um, but the biggest piece I'm going to say around casual sex, and if you're curious about casual sex stuff, um, I have some advice available at readaboutsex.com forward slash slut protocols is the easiest way to remember it because I, I called my casual sex protocols my slut protocols. And the biggest thing that you can do to help people feel okay with casual sex, because maybe you just you know, it was the right day, or you just said the right thing, or you're just a really nice person, and this might be this person's first time having casual sex, a one-night stand, or whatever, however that occurs in their Mm -hmm. mind, Um, aside from being a really just nice person, um, text them the next day and say, hey, thank you for the casual sex, Um, the slut protocols can give you ways of figuring out and helping to not create for each other this unintentional, we just fell in love Mm -hmm. experience. Um, And the slut protocols can be really helpful for just assessing and having a conversation with the person about your casual sex so that you're both not taking it casually. That would be where I would start um, because the, the biggest challenge is we end up having casual sex with people who aren't wired well for casual sex. So they, it just doesn't work well. Well, for them. Also, for a lot of people, it's our society kind of brings you up, especially females. We're, we're taught in school and, and with our parents that, um, for many of us, that having casual sex means you're a slut, that you're a bad person, mm-hmm. and you should only have sex with someone you really deeply love. And that's actually like once we get past the culture, the culturation, a lot of us are like, no, that's not necessarily true. But well, true for them. like Because yeah. there are some people where casual sex doesn't make them right. happy. There's nothing wrong with that. And I would say don't have casual sex. And then there are people for having like, you know, 40-year long-term relationships uh, with only one person doesn't make them happy. Mm-hmm. Again, it's tricky either way because we live in a society now where there's a lot more choice. And the onus is on you to do the work to figure out what makes you happy. And also to do the work to figure out if what you're going to do with this person or people, um, if it's going to make them happy. And sometimes, because they've never done it before or done it a lot, they don't know if it makes them happy yet. Yeah. So going back to this um, lovely question, it it sounds like it's an assessment technique well, where you're like figuring out, are we a good fit yeah. for casual sex? Which means you need to like actually have conversations about it. I love your... So a lot of times I will have reads uh, go through reads say for elevator speech. Say for sex elevator speech. Um, because that's sex. A, dot com slash elevator. <laughs> it's a great way to bring up the topic and discuss it because there are people that I find really fun that I might want to connect with sexually, but we're not a good fit for relationships. And being able to talk about those things and one of my biggest concerns is ha- with having casual sex is have they been tested and are they going to tell me if they find out that they're mm-hmm. they've contracted something afterwards. So going through that lets me know how savvy they are. And it's if they can handle that conversation, they're at least somewhat in the game. And mm-hmm. it, it opens the door for yeah. more discussion. It doesn't mean you're not going to upset people. It doesn't mean you're not going to upset yourself. However, talking about it and generally creating a situation that <gasps> us talking about it ruined the opportunity, good. that's a good <laughs> thing. You want to ruin the opportunity because you talked about it too much. Uh, and the idea is just don't take your casual sex casually and then treat people like amazing human beings. Anyone that wants to share their genitals with you must, by the very nature 
uh, of them wanting to be that generous. Uh, maybe he's a pretty nice person. I mean, there's some assholes out there um, who, who want to show their genitals too, but um, just treat people nice yeah. and uh, check out the slut protocols. Yeah, hope this helped. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear in the comments below. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. And please subscribe to this channel there. If you'd like to see more Goofy, Reed and Kathy, there's more videos there. Let's see the more there. <laughs>